Hello everyone, here's a brief demonstration of how to withdraw and inject an insulin medication. For this, we will need the following supplies. Insulin. Today we are using a practice regular insulin. A U100 insulin syringe. Here we have a half a mil syringe with a 29 gauge needle and it is half an inch in length. We can also see the expiry date, which is December 31st, 2024. So here we can see that this syringe is a half a mil syringe, which means it measures up to 50 units of insulin. And here we have a one mil syringe that can measure up to 100 units of insulin. So you just need to choose based on the total amount that you will need to administer. We need some alcohol swabs as well as some 2x2 two two gauzes and some gloves. You want to be organized so it may be helpful to have a little tray to put all of your supplies in. Uh, if you're a student being evaluated, you may need to bring a sharps container with you as well as an injection pad. We want to complete the necessary medication checks against the label and the MAR, but that will be demonstrated in greater detail in another video. Here, we're reading the medication label. It reads U100 Insulin R. We are also checking the expiry date, which is March 2030. We also want to inspect the clarity of the solution. Regular insulin is supposed to be colorless and clear. Next, we will remove and discard the lid if it is a brand new vial and wipe the top clean with an alcohol swab and then let dry. Then we want to prepare the syringe. Here we are using the low dose insulin syringe, which is the half a milliliter. Make sure the package is intact to ensure its sterility. If your syringe has a safety glide and it gets in the way, you can always twist it to one side so that you can see the meniscus or the lines without it impeding your vision. We want to safely remove the needle cap. You can use two hands or one hand first to loosen it up. Set the cap upside down. I like to pull back on the plunger a couple of times to loosen up the rubber uh, to make it easier to drop the air and the medication. You don't have to do this, but I find it helpful. Here, we're going to withdraw air equivalent to the amount of insulin that is ordered. Uh, let's pretend that the number is 10 units. We then inject that air into the vial and then invert the vial to withdraw the medication we need. In this case, we need 10 units. There are multiple ways to withdraw this medication and eliminate the air entering the barrel. Here, since I'm only withdrawing one medication, I'm free to push and pull on the plunger with the needle still in the vial. Sometimes that's not enough to do the trick. Other times I may have to use other techniques. This is something that I can show you in another video. You can also withdraw just a little extra if you need it to work out those pesky air bubbles. Then if you have any excess, you can expel it into the sink. Here, I'm just using a tray for demonstration purposes. Once we have the amount we require, we can replace the cap on the needle. This is the only time that we're allowed to recap a needle because the needle is still clean. We never recap a used needle for safety reasons. There are multiple ways to do this, each with its pros and cons, but here are a few examples. Now that we're finished drawing up our medication, we can clear up our workstation and gather any other supplies we may need. Once we've identified our patient, we will assess the selected injection site, ensuring that we're following the correct site rotation. We then thoroughly cleanse the site with an alcohol swab. We can clean in an overlapping circular motion starting from the center, or we can use the hashtag technique. Just remember that some facility protocols require that an injection site be cleaned for at least 30 seconds and then allowed to dry thoroughly. Here, we're going to pinch the skin and subcutaneous tissue with our non-dominant hand and inject the needle on a 90 degree angle. You may need to inject at a 45 degree angle if the site does not have sufficient subcutaneous tissue to pinch. 
Holding the syringe like a pen, we want to inject the needle quickly and firmly in a darting motion and then gently administer the insulin. You can either keep the pinch during administration or let go of the pinch and use the fingers on that non-dominant hand to anchor the syringe in place so it doesn't move around. Withdraw the needle carefully and apply the safety cap if available by using your thumb or the edge of the table or just directly dispose of the needle in the sharps container. Then apply pressure to the injection site. Once you're more experienced, you can apply the pressure while taking care of the used needle, but you just have to be very careful. Remember that you may need to apply pressure to the injection site for two to five minutes if your patient is on an anticoagulant medication. And then of course, don't forget to reassess your patient afterwards and document as required.